Okay, everybody, so today uh, I just wanted to show a little bit more about my apartment. Uh, as you can see, it's nighttime here. Uh, still probably mid-afternoon, you know, in the States. Uh, but I wanted to show you kind of the street, I guess you could call it. It's more of a pathway. It's not quite big enough for a vehicle, but uh, the street that I live on. And so I've seen, shown a little bit on the inside of my apartment, but I kind of want to show leading up to it. Uh, but one of the cool things is tonight, uh, it's just a beautiful night. And you can see uh, the moon is super bright tonight. Just a big, almost full moon. But if you head down that direction, down that way, I haven't been down there in, to explore it very much yet. So I'm looking forward to do that in a couple weeks. This is kind of where I met that cat that I posted the other day. So I kind of want to take you in to my apartment a bit. So this is the uh, right outside my door. So normally I'll head up that way to go to classes in the cafeteria and I come back down here and here we go uh, so this is my apartment so as we come in there's an automatic light that will pop on as soon as i walk in and uh so this was an apartment for professor fatih who you saw the other day and it was a bit of a strange apartment because like this is the kitchen that's the bathroom that's his bedroom and he would work at this desk, but it's kind of like, this is kind of a common area. So his apartment was split up between all these other spots. Uh, but let's come in here and shut the door. And so this is inside this general common area. It's just all rocks, which is crazy. And then, so this is kind of under the stairs. So we have the stairway, and then that's my apartment up there. And as you come in, um, there's a washer and dryer in through here, which is nice that I get a washer and dryer. And I was trying to do laundry earlier today. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see all this, but it's all in French. So often I'm using Google Translate to figure out what all this means. <laughs> so anyway, it is nice that I can do my own laundry. But as we come up here, There's all these fun little windows all around. Cool little light fixtures, so that's down where I come in. And then here are the doors. So again, this was part of the reason why Fati wanted to take off. This door, it's about, it's definitely sh smaller than my head height, but it's really narrow. I can barely fit through it sideways. And then this door is even smaller. So this kind of like is my mid chest maybe. <laughs> So it's just a tiny, tiny door. It's not a super convenient uh, apartment. So we'll head in here. And of course, this is my apartment again. And what I spent today doing was, uh, I have an online class, and so I've been doing a lot of online grading. Um, but then also I've been making these swords. So uh, they're about, I don't know, what? Three feet long, pretty close to that. And uh, I do a class where we um, will kind of sword fight each other <laughs> and we'll uh, you know just find good angles and talk about using photo reference and dynamic figure drawing uh, but I got here and I was like I don't have any swords for these students to use so I ran to um, there's kind of a local it's like it's like a Target or a Walmart I guess so it's, so it's got like groceries and just household things to buy so I bought a couple of these um, uh, broom handles and a bunch of electrical tape and made these swords for us to use. So I had to borrow a saw from the maintenance guys uh, and then I just kind of sawed these off here in the apartment made these today. So I swear I've been productive doing school things uh, and it just turns out that making swords qualifies as school things. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but mostly I've been, uh, so I got, I still have some grading to do. Um, I do a lot of that setup. Here, uh, luckily I was able to bring a Cintiq. I know it says scanning station. Uh, I promise I didn't steal that from the school, but we shipped it. So that was the one that I used at my desk. And then, uh, so I'll do my grading. And then over here, I'm actually packing. I'm getting ready for, uh, we're gonna head to Paris uh, first thing on Monday. And so uh, we had to kind of, you know, start thinking about that. So we're, we have tomorrow as a bit of downtime. There's my slippers because it's cold stone floor. But uh, anyway, so we, had a, we have some downtime for 
tomorrow, luckily. Um, the other thing I'm working on, this is uh, one of my pages for Elders of the Runestone that I'm doing with Quinn Johnson, which is super cool. Um, and so I've got to finish up pencils for that. Uh, this is kind of my sketchbook that I'm doing a lot of Lacoste sketches in. So I still need to kind of start doing, uh, I'm going to start doing some watercolors in there uh, for my students next, well, I guess in about two weeks, two, three weeks, because uh, a lot of French comics historically have been watercolored as far as different approach. I know there's lots of different ways to do it, but um, so I want to kind of go over that technique with the students. So I'm kind of getting a few sketches prepped that I can demo in class. And uh, anyway, so I'll, I'll kind of show some videos of me getting those ready. But yeah, so another short video for today. This is kind of, again, more of my apartment stuff. Uh, but I kind of wanted to show like coming from the street up to my, my place and kind of what I've done, kept busy today. I got a chance to walk around the village a little bit earlier and take some nighttime photos, which has been a lot of fun. And I'll post those with this and uh, a couple of close-ups of my cool swords. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow, um, I think we're going to go to a small town in the morning, um, and then, so I might get some video from that, and then it's mostly, yeah, just get a good night's sleep, because we're going to be headed to Paris first thing Monday morning, pretty early. All right, everybody, we'll see you uh, tomorrow.